Welcome to Disney's Wilderness Lodge, one of Disney's premier deluxe resorts at Walt Disney World, made to feel like the American prairie along with the outdoorsmen within all of us. Definitely a fantastic resort with lots of details. Today, we're going to give you an entire tour of this amazing resort and some secret spots, which I love. Let's dive in with that theming. Check out these hoof prints that guide you from the parking area into Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Now, it should be noted, this is wilderness, so from time to time you may see a wild animal or two. Well, that's just about anywhere in Florida, including different uh, critters and things that slither. So be aware as you're walking all around Florida, it's just something to be thinking about. Now, as you make your way, let's pretend you're taking one of the bus services to Wilderness Lodge. This is where you'll be dropped off and you walk into Wilderness Lodge through the front door. Now you'll notice the theming of the front doors got those very large wooden doors. Looks like they were just cut down recently to create that amazing door effect. Gotta love it. The sliding glass brings you in and you'll immediately smell the unique Wilderness Lodge smell experience. Now, what do I mean by this? It smells like pine, smells like cedar, smells like the outdoors. And as you walk in, it almost feels like you're outdoors. You've got the touches of Native American culture. You've got the wild, wild west and Americana. Truly an amazing resort with a lot of small details that can be difficult to find if you're just passing through. But if you take the time to really kind of dive into the small pieces of Wilderness Lodge, you'll notice at least some of them. One of my favorite ways to get familiar with some of these resorts, including Wilderness Lodge, is to participate in the scavenger hunt. Now the scavenger hunt takes you through most of the lobby area, along with some of the uh, not other guest areas that you can enjoy and get to know the resort just a bit better. Now one of my favorite spots inside of the lobby is the fireplace. Gotta love it with all the those chairs right up front, especially if it's cold in Orlando. Not always that cold, but you know, from time to time. You'll notice it's a really, really high main lobby building. All of those passageways up above do lead to guest rooms, and there are even secret passages as you go up there. You'll notice right above the entry door, there's a really nice area. Sit back and relax. We'll show you that in just a bit. There's a totem pole on the wall, and it brings us to our first dining experience. It's Whispering Canyon. Now, Whispering Canyon has been <laughs> joked by some as Shouting Canyon because it's actually a fun family experience where the servers will joke around with you quite a bit. It'll make you feel like you're definitely part of the family there, and don't be afraid to ask for more ketchup. They'll be more than happy to get you as much as you need. You'll notice small treasures throughout Wilderness Lodge, including this amazing uh, hat right here with those horns on top, perhaps worn by a Native American chief. More of that art all around the walls here. As we make our way to the you know Whispering Canyons now behind us, this stairwell leads to one of those secret passages, which I will show you in just a bit. Now let's continue making our way through Wilderness Lodge. You'll notice they've got the pressed pennies over here, along with that mobile charger refill station. Those are nice to have, especially if you buy them uh, online. You can actually get them exchanged right here as many times as you want, and you can do that throughout your Disney adventure, which is great. You can find a map of all of those charger replacement spots on uh, the My Disney Experience app. To your right here, you'll notice a very, another super large totem pole on the wall, along with the guest services and bell services uh, area. And this is where you'll actually pick up that scavenger hunt if you are interested in participating in it. Straight across from us is the DVC, Disney Vacation Club desk. And to our right is the Mercantile Shop. This is the main merchandise shop for Disney's Wilderness Lodge, one of my favorite totem poles right up front with some of the Disney characters. Now, Wilderness Lodge, along with many of the other deluxe resorts, have their own merchandise line. Many of the resorts actually have uh, their own merchandise line, but the deluxe resorts seem to have a wider variety of uh, different items, including this corksicle thing, which is pretty cool. It features some of our favorite uh, theming from Wilderness Lodge. You got photo frames, other tumblers, and uh, just some photo stands, which are really nice, including those shirts and so much more. You'll notice the mercantile shop and features a lot of the merchandise that we find all around Walt Disney World and continues to change over time, but many different themed items directly for Wilderness Lodge, including this fluffy bathrobe. They, a couple of the resorts have fluffy bathrobes, but usually it's those deluxe resorts with uh, that personalized feel. Really nice. Throughout this mercantile shop, you'll find, again, the wood theming. It really makes you feel like you're immersed in the uh, great American outdoors. You'll find another fireplace in here, along with all of your favorite shopping needs, including small food items. They've got mugs, pins, glasses, 
Everything you could possibly want. Now, as we make our way outside of the mercantile area, you'll notice the pins they have were ready for trading next to the exit here. That cast member was super nice, very, very friendly. To your right, you, you can make your way out to the arcade area. Now, this arcade is relatively large for a deluxe resort. They got a lot of great games for uh, different kids of all ages to enjoy, from the young to the young at heart. You can even ring the bell. As you make your way in, it's not that loud, but it, it does ring, so it, it's a true bell. Inside, there it is. Arcade's actually pretty busy, which was a little bit surprising, considering how nice a day we had here in Central Florida. But the parks are expensive, so sometimes it's a great day to just kind of hang out the resort and enjoy, so fun one. Now, if we continue down this slope path here, we'll make our way to Boulder Ridge and the DVC Villa at Wilderness Lodge. I'm going to take you down there in just a bit, so you know, stay tuned for that kind of sloped walkway, which I will show you again in a moment. But we're going to go back in again walking past the mercantile store on your left different display cases on your left as well along with the dog tag area if you want to get a personalized dog tag from wilderness lodge you can find it right outside the mercantile shop to your right is another area to get to guest rooms they got a lot of good rooms there and throughout the resort there's tons of rooms here there's your mail drop slot on the right and as we continue to turn right here you'll notice they've got this bridge with the kind of bubbling geyser as it uh, makes its way through the resort and then down outside, which is really cool to see. So remember this water effect here that's going underneath this bridge, you'll see it again outside. As we cross the bridge here, we make our way to more of the shopping and dining at Wilderness Lodge. And there's more seating areas to your left and outside as well. To your right, those glass doors, great for kind of relaxing, especially on a super nice day in Central Florida. Now, as we make our way into this area, we've got the Territory Lounge, Artist Point Dining, Roaring Fork, and of course, more of those rooms, which are throughout the resort. As you look ahead here, you'll notice some of the artwork up against that wall. Then you've got the Territory Lounge, which is the bar area, uh, kind of above Artist Point. And then Artist Point is that walkway up and to our left. I've enjoyed that dining experience before. It's a fun themed dining experience with uh, Snow White and some of the dwarves. And of course, the Evil Queen. That's a fun one. And Territory Lounge does have a lot of the same really good food that you can find at Geyser Point. If you know Geyser Point, then you know this resort well because we're making our way there now. You'll notice the theming throughout. We're kind of, kind of walking down this brick tunnel, if you will. So we're making our way kind of to a lower level of Wilderness Lodge. This is where you'll find Roaring Fork, which is the main uh, kind of central quick service dining location for Wilderness Lodge. We're going to turn left here, and you'll see there's outdoor seating right over there to your right, and now Roaring Fork to your left. Again, they have some food items here, but uh, nothing I'd go out of my way for, so it's just nothing outstanding, but it is kind of unique in terms of Wilderness Lodge. So if you want to try something unique for Wilderness Lodge, Roaring Fork, but I wouldn't go out of my way for it. Many of the standard items that you can find all around Walt Disney World, including burgers, fries, your standard sandwiches, maybe some small salads. They've got some uh, fresh items, including uh, cupcakes for the day. And of course, those resort refillable mugs. Sure enough, the 100th anniversary of Walt Disney World mug has arrived at Wilderness Lodge and many other Disney resorts. The second uh, room of Roaring Fork here is the seating area and the refill section. So if you just grabbed that 100th anniversary mug like I did and you want to refill that mug, you can do it right over here. Now, all over the resorts at Walt Disney World have a mug wash sink area where they have fresh water that kind of comes in. You can kind of shake up your water bottle a little bit, especially if you just bought it or maybe there's something in there that maybe it was a different drink. You don't want that flavor mixing with the new drink that you're putting in there. Don't be afraid to use the mug wash before you fill your mug. Now, right outside of Roaring Fork to the right there, you got a few chairs that are available and you've got an outdoor seating section, which is great for when you want to enjoy maybe a waffle fry if they have them available out here in the super nice Florida weather. Depending on when you're here, maybe it'll be nice weather, maybe it'll be you know, not so nice weather, but either way, you can sit outside. This area is also heated as well. They can turn the heaters on if it's really cold right above you, which is nice. Now we've made our way outside of Wilderness Lodge at this point, a truly beautiful resort. Those green roofs and the wooden kind of structure of the building that really kind of ties into the land so well. You can see the architect architecture all around with those rocks kind of coming down that Disney has put together to make it look as natural as possible, and I've got to tell you, they did an amazing job. That same geyser we saw inside the resort is the water that's kind of funneling down this uh, this valley here 
underneath the bridge that we walk on, which is really cool, and then kind of towards the pool, which is awesome. And you can see there are actually some kids there who are trying to kind of feel the water as it's making its way into the pool. So the water all the way from, res from the resort make its makes its way into the pool, which is a really, really cool effect. Now, as we continue walking, you can make your way into the resort from these different walkways. To our left is the main pool for Wilderness Lodge. Great for families, a very small slide and uh, some other amenities, which are nice. But it's a really smaller pool. They do have a few pools here at Wilderness Lodge, but this is a nice area for families with younger kids to come and play. They have a water splash area, which we're going to make our way to in just a moment. And believe it or not, two hot tubs. There are different activities to experience at Wilderness Lodge and all the different resorts at Walt Disney World. When you're here, make sure you check out that recreational activity calendar. It changes all the time, and it'll tell you if the uh, thing that you're looking at is included with your stay or if it requires an additional fee. So that's important to note. There's that main pool again. Another great view of it. It's really, really nice. Not that deep, great for the whole family. Here we are again walking on this path. Now this is the kind of boardwalk wooden path here, really nice for the cast members throughout. You'll notice the two hot tubs, one to the left, one to the right. It's a common question, is one hotter than the other? I've actually noticed that the right one is hotter than the left one, but you know, it's, it's anybody's best guess. Over here, you've got the geyser. Now, it's not operating today, but this is where that geyser will shoot a stream of water into the air. It's really cool, and it, I can't remember if it's every 15 or 20 minutes, maybe every 30 minutes. It's every so often. And it's right across the way from the kids' splash area, which you can see right over there. Great for the smallest ones among us to go and enjoy. Now, this walkway here is really unique because it kind of brings you through the trees. You'll notice the trees are actually growing through the walkway. Disney went to extreme lengths here to make sure that guests felt immersed with the uh, nature all around them, which is really, really nice. Now, depending on if it's been raining a lot, if it's wet, you'll notice that this entire area is actually flooded and you're basically walking over a swamp. Today, it was relatively dry, so you'll notice that uh, it's dry down there right by the green uh, leaves down there. So it can vary. Be sure to you know, take a look as you're walking around and enjoy nature. Now we've made our way to the boat dock here, and this is the boat that will take you to Disney's Magic Kingdom. It'll also make a stop, usually, at Fort Wilderness, which is across the uh, waterway and near those trees to the right. Yeah, but it's very, very nice to kind of sit back, relax, and enjoy a boat ride to Magic Kingdom. Now, if you were to continue on to the left side, instead of taking that right to the boat dock, you'll make your way to some of those special cabins. But I'm gonna show you different cabins as we make our way to the other side of the resort. But they're the same idea, just at different locations. With my back to the pool now, the pool pump room is to our right. And straight ahead, you'll notice some tables that are great for sitting back, relaxing, and enjoying some of the water. That's coming from the geyser to our left at this point. It's a really natural feeling resort. It's really kind of tied into nature and they've, they've pushed really hard to try and make it feel that way. You'll notice even the wood building right there is made to feel like it's just meant to be in that location. Really, really well done. Again, to your left here, here's this little stream that is great to kind of just see like ducks playing and just relaxing and, you know, getting the feeling of nature again. This water makes its way, at least we're meant to believe, straight into the, uh, the lake straight ahead of us. So really cool effect. Great how they've incorporated nature here. Now next to us and right in front of Geyser Point, you'll notice this fireplace right here. That's where they have the s'mores every day. Great experience, and it is included with your stay. Here's Geyser Point Bar and Grill. If you know me, you know my opinion on this has shifted over the years. In my in the past, I believed it was the best burger at Walt Disney World. That has definitely not been the case for a while. They have changed everything about that burger, and I can no longer recommend it at all. That's how much of a change has been made to this burger. I'm a big burger guy, but that is not the one. Do not get that burger. It is my recommendation. They have some indoor seating, or not indoor, but covered seating, and some uncovered seating right here. Believe it or not, they actually have some blinds that they can pull down, or kind of shades that can block out the sun, and even some really intense rain. So if you're, sure, you know, if you're eating right there, and it starts to pour down rain, they can kind of pull some of those shades down, which help to prevent you from getting soaked, which is really nice. It is a nice experience to kind of relax if you want like a nice drink, but you're not looking for a burger. It can be uh, it can be fun. So it's all it's a really good spot. Uh, I really wish they'd bring that burger back and they'd bring the breakfast back. That was one of the best breakfasts as well. Guys, your point one day will be the same again, I'm sure. Now, if you don't want to sit down for a dining experience, or maybe you just want to try that burger, but don't want the whole sit down experience, you can order the burger or anything else 
from the menu from the quick service spot here in front of Geyser Point. Really friendly cast members here. We were chatting for a bit, talking about that burger and some of the changes to it. But you'll notice the entire menu available here at the quick service window. Now you'll notice another area for refilling your resort refillable mug. Make sure you have it with you because it will come in handy. Coffee and tea available as well. As we make our way away from Geyser Point at this point, we're going to make our way towards the main building of Wilderness Lodge again. Right there in front of us is the main building. And you'll notice this is a special character that's not there at the moment. Sure enough, the bison and the buffalo no longer are there, but the tracks indicate where they may have gone. Very cool to see. Sure enough, they, they were actually there before they were removed, but it's kind of cool to see the tracks are still there from when the bison and buffalo we're hanging out at Wilderness Lodge. Now we've made our way to the Disney Vacation Club Boulder Ridge section of Wilderness Lodge. Now Boulder Ridge, again, is exclusive for the Disney Vacation Club. Can you rent points, buy points? Yes, you can do all of that, but it is meant for the Disney Vacation Club. They've got their own private pool and some very special rooms that are available for those who stay at Boulder Ridge. Here's the pool, however. Really nice Boulder Ridge Cove, not much quieter pool than the main pool and actually a bit shallower as well. So if you're looking for kind of a quiet Quieter time. They've got some nice areas to sit back and relax. Some uh, chaise areas where you can kind of kick your feet up and just kind of enjoy a covered area. Really, really nice spot. Further back, as we continue back here, you'll notice Reunion Station, where they have some craft activities and other activities you can participate in. And when they're running again, some fishing and boat excursions. As promised, here's the Cascade Cabins, those very special Disney Vacation Club getaways. These cabins offer amazing views with a ton of space for you and your family to enjoy. They are more on the expensive side for sure, rather than a room, but they are a very unique experience. They are still offering complimentary tours if you want to take a closer look from Disney Vacation Club. They are fun, but very expensive. Now, this pathway would take us all the way around Wilderness Lodge, and I'll show you that in a little bit more detail in just a moment, but we're going to kind of make the cut through here towards the other building for Boulder Ridge, where Disney Vacation Club guests can relax in their own separate building. With quick access to the Disney Vacation Club pool right here at Boulder Ridge Cove, you'll notice they have a lot of great amenities right over here. We're going to make our way into that building momentarily, but let's check out the map first. You'll notice we're at the You Are Here section right outside of the Boulder Ridge Pool, and you'll notice the uh, cabins go all the way down and make that circle around. That's the circle we didn't make, but I just wanted to point it out to you. The red building to the left of that You Are Here symbol on the map is that building I'm going to show you momentarily for Boulder Ridge. The green building is indicator of the main Wilderness Lodge building, and again, across the way, you can very clearly see the cabins from the other side of Wilderness Lodge and the boat dock. So very easy to navigate once you get a clearer picture of the map. Now, right outside of the building here and kind of attached to the DVC building is Sturdy Branches, which in my opinion is the absolute number one best name for a gym to theme with the Wilderness Lodge. It's, it's perfect. Uh, gym, sturdy branches. Yes, let's let's have that all the time. I love it. Now, as we continue along this building here to our left, again, the DVC buildings to our left, the main building is directly ahead of us and the cove, the private pool for Div Disney Vacation Club or the quieter pool is to our right at this point, kind of coming up behind us. We're now going to make the left. Now, I don't want anyone to get confused. So you're going to get a clear picture of where that pathway was that I was showing you when I was talking about the arcade. If you look straight ahead, you'll notice kind of the downward sloping roof tiles right there. That's that path that I showed you before that was making our way from the arcade straight down. So if you were to follow your way outside of the main building, walk past the arcade, you'd be underneath that roof section right ahead of us right now. Now, as you're at Wilderness Lodge, of course, you're going to see wildlife. And sure enough, here is, I believe it's called a Sand Hill Crane. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But these cranes are all over Walt Disney World and Florida. They're not going to be a pain at all. They're they're cool. They're, they're nice. They, they eat some rodents, which are very helpful. So we, we like them. They're, they're nice. So let's make our way now towards the Boulder Ridge main building. This is a very special building here at Walt Disney World, and it's one that I recommend. If you're visiting Wilderness Lodge, maybe you're staying here for a little bit and you want to check out an area that you know, you're not staying in right now, but you want to get a closer look, definitely walk over here and check this place out. In my opinion, one of the best hidden gems at Wilderness Lodge and any Disney resort at the moment, in my opinion. As you make your way in, it seems pretty standard. You got some wood on the walls there, really feeling like Wilderness Lodge kind of feel. You got stone now, you've made your way in. But then you get greeted by this incredible lobby atrium area of Boulder Ridge. 
DVC building. It is absolutely incredible, uh, amazing to see this basically entirely constructed out of these wood beams, or made to look that way at least. Really feels like you are deep inside of some uh, very special cabin in the woods somewhere in the American West. It is truly a beautiful lobby. I love it so, so much. But believe it or not, believe it or not, this is not the best part of the Boulder Ridge building. And I, if you know the building, you know exactly where I'm headed next, right? You got the nice seating areas. It's great. You got the fireplace, which you say to yourself, oh, fireplace. Oh, yeah, I like the fireplace. It's always good. Yeah. Oh yeah. No question. The best part right around the corner. You'll notice right in this little uh, case over here, there's a lot of train memorabilia. You know, a lot of that's kind of homage to Walt Disney's love of trains. You know, you know, it's really nice to see. Great that they kept it around. You're thinking to yourself, oh, this is a nice little cute little thing they have here. Yeah, it's true. But if you continue on and you <laughs> turn right here, you've got the fair weather route, which is really cool, which kind of tells the story of Walt's love with trains and the Carolwood Pacific, which is his private train that he had, a little small train, in on his uh, personal property. You sit back in one of these chairs, you relax, you enjoy the fire, or you take a look around into all the small areas around this you know, special area within Wilderness Lodge and learn about the trains. You can find pictures of Walt, pictures of trains, the him riding the train, which is really cool, talking to engineers, engineer for a day, just so many cool things that he loved, getting to know the man just a bit more behind one of our favorite places, Walt Disney World. Really amazing to learn more about Walt, his love of trains, and see all the details inside of this amazing resort. Now, as you make your way towards the main exit, you don't have to go out the main exit. You can go out one of these side doors here, which is really convenient if you want to kind of just get a little bit of more fresh air, sit back in one of these uh, rocking chairs or standard chairs available, just a small view of nature. Sit back, relax, start your day with a coffee here. Really great way to start the day. Now, as we leave the Boulder Ridge area of Wilderness Lodge, I want to give you a closer look at where you can catch the Disney bus. If you're not headed to Magic Kingdom, which is that boat I showed you at the back of the resort, you can grab a Walt Disney World bus from the pathway to the right. I'm going to show you the running trail first, then we'll take a look at where the buses are. The running trail makes its way all over the way around Wilderness Lodge, at least the right-hand side of it, and it takes you about half a mile. So if you're looking to get those miles in before you start walking the miles of Walt Disney World, you can indeed do that. To your left-hand side underneath that covered area that you can see there, that is how you get to the Walt Disney World bus system. If you're headed to Epcot, Hollywood Studios, or Animal Kingdom, or even Disney Springs or a water park, you catch them all after walking through this little uh, walkway here. Now, as promised, I wanted to show you a closer look inside kind of the main part of the main building. This is where the guests will come and enjoy their day. Here's one of my favorite hidden secret spots where a family is actually playing a game of Monopoly. Great idea on a non-park day with a little fireplace right there. Great theming all around. You can even find not conference areas, but sitting areas where you can maybe read a book here if you want to and really kind of feel disconnected from your phone, which is always a great feeling and get a good view of Disney's Wilderness Lodge. One of my favorite resorts at Walt Disney World, truly a masterpiece. If you want to go and enjoy, I definitely recommend this as one of the best at Walt Disney World. A special thanks to our Patreon production team and for making all these videos possible. And thanks to you for being a part of it with me. Until next time, have a magical day and I'll see you real soon.